Welcome back, YouTube fam. If you're new here, welcome. Today we are going on a road trip. We're going to the most center part of Oklahoma. I wanted to show you guys kind of what Oklahoma is about. I've got a lot of friends on the East Coast and the West Coast, and everybody seems to think that we have buffalo and Indian running around out here, and uh, we don't. Uh, we do have Indians, but they don't ride horses for the most part. And we do have some buffalo stuff, but they're not like roaming free or anything like that. So today we're going to start in the most center part of the state. Uh, tomorrow we're going to do a little bit of exploring. Uncle G's going to meet me over there. Because, you know, I get in trouble when I'm by myself. Stick around, it should be fun. So I made it to the hotel. We will go in and see what this is all about, huh? And you're coming with me. Because you know I like to take you to hotels. <laughs> and Uncle G should be here just any minute. Let's see what the room looks like, shall we? So it looks like I am all the way down this hallway. Alright. We have arrived. Yes. Alright. That's a pretty nice room. Okay. Let me uh, get my bag here. I think. Since he's not here yet, <laughs> I will take the bed closest to the bathroom and he can have the bed closest to the air conditioning. So I'm going to go down and get the rest of uh, the rest of the stuff, hammer gear and stuff. I just like to keep it in the room with me. We'll check back in once Uncle G gets here. I drove by this and I had to stop and turn around because this is in amazing shape. That's the caboose and it has been restored. I don't think you realize how big this thing is. It is massive. There's a piece of history right there, folks. The Santa Fe Railway Company. Run up there and stand next to it so they can get an idea how big it think? is. Uncle G is about 6'1", and look how that thing is at least more than twice his height. I mean, the wheels are almost as big as, as tall as he is. I just thought this was a cool piece of history and I wanted to share it with you guys in the little town of Pauls Valley, Oklahoma. That is amazing. Got your cow catcher on the front there. Yep, just wanted to stop and take a quick picture of it, let you guys see the train. So real quick, we thought we would show you kind of downtown Paul's Valley. Well, we made it. We are in the very center of Oklahoma, a place called Turner Falls. And we're going to go exploring and see what we can find. And Uncle G is here with me. I think he's putting on... He is. He's putting on bug spray. Yes, he's going to spray me down here in a minute. But this is absolutely gorgeous, folks. Uh, that's one of the bluffs. Okay, so we are just going to go exploring and see what we can come across. And you're going with us. Sit back, relax, and enjoy.
Sorry about the wind noise, guys. But let me tell you something. After hiking this high up, I think it feels pretty good. Let's see if I can... Get you a little closer. That tells you how high up we are. <laughs> we are far away from that. It goes even higher. Well, after several hours of walking, we found out that we could have parked up here. If you do come to visit, know that you don't have to hike through the woods to get up here. You can actually drive up here. Hello. Funny how we talked about my life insurance just last night. Hmm. I can keep up with you. I can keep up. I walk 14 miles a day. Yen, 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 yen. Uh huh. Oh, look, people are swimming. I know, I'm so jealous. See that? Yes. Yeah. There. Those people are staying cool. I have a feeling the water is kind of cold, but. Right about now, it would probably feel pretty good. I think it's about 90 degrees. Okay, so now we're gonna head down to find a cave because caves are cool, like temperature wise. Uh huh. Wagon, wagon wheel cave and outlaw cave. I'll take either one. So, now we have to go down all these stairs, which should be easier than coming up them, but I'll let you know. Okay, so I think this is Outlaw Cave. I think. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Can you skedaddle around the other side? I don't think so. <clears throat> Let me just call through and see if there is another entrance. I think there is. Yeah, I'll show you. Let's go check out the other entrance. I don't know if we're still recording or not, but I never turned it off, so I assume so. I like how that kid was like, I don't know how the natives did it. The natives wore shoes, dude. They weren't total savages. Yeah. I want to know though, who's like, you know, I'm going to go to the state park today. I got to make sure I got my spray paint. Okay, so we made it inside the cave. This is Robber's Cave. We assume. Uh, so that's the little opening that Grant shimmied through, and he did find another way in, which this is a pretty good size little cavern. That's how we came in right through there. And then if you look out over here, above this rock, Way down there is the hole. So I hope, I'm, hope I got a picture of it for you because I'm too short to see over that huge rock. So this is, and it's it's quite nice and cool in here. So as you can see, I'm still kicking. Not I too. Haven't lost much, her yet. Not too much the worse for wear. A little little perspiring maybe 
but you know, whatever. So, there's some really good drawings in here. There's a lot of graffiti, don't get me wrong, but so there's this little guy right there. Uh, I think it might be a spaceship or something. And then over here we have a cute little mushroom, toadstool, whatever. Aw, Brad loves me, 2020. Brad and Jamie. Oh, Brad and Jamie, 2020. <laughs> okay, whatever. Look, that like, look like a heart to me. Those are some hornet's nests. Or mud daubers, maybe. Yeah, well, I don't see anything flying around in here, thankfully. I know, I'm surprised there's not bats. Let's, let's not. Oh, look. Hello. There's a crack in the ceiling. Okay. Probably time to go. So this is what we have to go down. And I'm pretty sure this is not a path. And we never did find the other cave. So. But it goes way up the hill up there. And then it's pretty much just jagged rock going down. So if you were to fall, it would not be a fun time. But, so I'm going to put the camera up, so if I do fall, the camera doesn't fall. See you in a minute. Alright guys, I found another cave, and it's pretty sick, and getting there is pretty cool, so I'm taking you along for the journey this time. It's right here, is the path. And it's around on the front of the front of the cliff. I don't know how far back this goes, but we'll figure it out. Damn, not far back at all. Nice little shelf you could take a nap on, I guess. Lots of people come up here to drink. But it's still pretty cool. An excellent view of the falls from here. Okay, so I don't even think you can see up that high. Anyway, I feel like a billy goat. I've made it so far, but now I have to traverse all of this to get down to the beach. Feeling pretty much like a billy goat at this point. Oh, look, here's my billy goat now. His legs may be a little too long. Just drop, you're fine. I'm trying, my foot's There you go, almost got it. There you go. 
There's another cave right there. Huh? There's another cave right there. This is a hole. Oh, okay. Hey, we're getting close to the falls. Well, that water looks refreshing. I'm going to have to take my shoes and socks off, roll my pants up, and put my feet in the water. That's all there is to it. So we'll see you on the bottom, guys. So I found a place to put my feet in the water. And it's right by the waterfall. And I'm sitting on a rock out in the middle of the water. I won't even begin to tell you how I got out here. But it's not too far from the shore. But... Yeah. Cooling off my little feetsies. Everybody else wore swimsuits. Didn't know that was an option. Didn't uh, research this place. We just kind of came out here. So if you come out here, be sure and bring a swimsuit. <laughs> Good shot. just found a castle. A castle. A castle in the woods in Oklahoma. You guys got to see this. All right, let's check this thing out. If we can make it up all these steps. Okay, so I did a little research and this was built as a summer home. Summer home, mind you. For the the Dean of Oklahoma University. Dean in, of the School of Education. Oh, Dean of the School of Education for Oklahoma University. Uh, in 1926. Look at these little bitty narrow windows. Okay. But think about it. In 1926, there wouldn't have been electric poles and he would have been right on the river and got to listen to the I think that you're probably able to hear the, the river running from up here but a jail for the students maybe not really sure misbehave and we'll put you in jail well this is kind of a nice patio I have a feeling this was the uh, front entrance, maybe. Kind of looks like a front entrance. Fireplace. I didn't notice the symbols. I wonder what they mean. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Any of you guys know what this means? It was probably put in here in, in 1926, so... It's either Indian symbols or Latin. He was a big fan of the Wild Wild West. Would, would be my guess. So this would have been the front door. Well, this is nice. Got all these paintings all the way around. And he was a fan of there's a chipmunk and a polluted woodpecker and a blue bonnet, a colored lizard, bob white quail. These are all native to Oklahoma. Coyote, roadrunner, raccoon. So, let's see what's through here. Uh, not a lot. Like it ends right there, so, and it ends right there. So maybe it was a hidey hole. I don't really know. And then over here, and the, through this little bitty doorway, if you can call it a doorway, is uh, some stairs. There's a whole lot of people know about this uh, 
hassle, it would appear, because there's a lot of people up here. What do you think? It's pretty cool. I mean, for really, really short people. Yeah, I can see that. All the doorways are like tiny. Like, yeah, like, G is six feet tall and he has to turn sideways to get through the door. So maybe people were shorter back then? But that is a really, really quite steep staircase going down. And going up. So, and look at these little bitty windows. They're so funny. They do let the daylight in, which is nice. But I think we'll, uh, I mean, this is a good sized living room. If that's where it was. Oh, I think we have to go up these steps. You don't want to go up the... These are so steep. So, not really sure why a short person... Obviously, with the doorways being as short and narrow as they are... Why he would build such steep steps, but... As you can see, we are three levels up now. And just getting higher. There's still another level. But this is so cool with all these parapets. Going all the way around. It's just really cool. Oh yeah. So the stair, those little narrow stairs we saw a minute ago. They come up here. And of course this is barred up so you can't come out here but that's all that that's this is the only place they go and it's a little patio up even higher so that's pretty cool do we go up higher mm-hmm oh look more stairs okay so I think this is the highest of the castle maybe yeah Oh, there's the chimney. In that room we were just in, they had the fireplace. There's the chimney. So, and that's that's the room where they, pretty sure they locked up their students. Yeah, I mean, not real sure what these would be for. When this was the living room, so that's a that was the chimney. I don't think this was a, had walls. I think the living room was underneath us. Thinking this is a patio. Put your little lawn chairs out here, and it was all about the outdoors. Because there, there's no walls. Yeah. So, but this was his summer home. So. I could see because if if you. In Oklahoma, we have snow and ice in the wintertime, so I don't think you'd want to be trying to traverse all these stairs in the, uh... But some of this is really well thought out. This is definitely the living room. That's definitely the fireplace, because it goes back, and it has that weird little bump out behind it. And that's right here. Well, it could be. Or it could be an outdoor fireplace. I don't have any idea. That's the little room we were in. And that's up to the second level. I think this guy really liked outdoor spaces. Mm-hmm. What is down there? Like, these stairs are almost as tall as from my foot to my knee. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, see? Did we go in there? Huh? Did we go in there? Not. There's, there's so much to this castle. Oh my goodness. Oh, somebody broke the bench. That had to take some doing now. A nice little picnic table out here. 
nice little bench you could sit on and just watch the river. Oh, isn't that the first room we were in? No, we went, we walked up and walked that, down that path. Oh, okay. Well, here's another little room with fireplace. I bet you this was a bedroom. You can kind of see what was left of the, I guess there was a shutter here or something at one time. So, he was really into all these. Let's see what this is. It's awful dark in here. Hang on, let me get my candy dandy twisted flashlight out. Okay. Oh, there's lots of spiders. Look, it's a spider. Um, oh, maybe they won't follow me. So, that's good. No, oh, it doesn't go anywhere. It just kind of ends right there. Okay. I'm not really sure what, what all these hidden rooms are about, but I would say if the other one was a living room, this one is definitely a bedroom. Oh, oh, we're underneath, the, are we underneath the living room? Because there's those stairs. No, the living room is not that way. Yeah. Remember, we walked over there, climbed up the stairs, living room. Oh, okay. So apparently you had to come down these narrow, narrow stairs to get from the living room to the bedroom. Pretty sure this was a bedroom. Do you think first thing you walk up, it's a bedroom? Well, I'm pretty sure the... So that wall is to the living room. Uh, I'm pretty sure... The, the one with all the animals painted on it would be the living room. I don't know. I would have made the stairway a little bigger myself, but you know, it's just me. But they have all these like patios, so I think they really enjoyed the outdoors. I think so too. Okay, so we haven't seen that yet. Uh-uh. Okay, go up there. Okay. I don't have any idea what that would have been for. It's just a little room, all, all by itself. Well, that looks like it had plumbing in it at one time, so maybe that's a bathroom. I think this is the toilet, which had a great view. <laughs> great view. Great view from the John. It's interesting how there's just all these little rooms. Like, I don't have any idea what that little room was for. But I'm pretty sure that one was for a toilet. I think. But to come all the way, I don't know, to come all the way from the main castle, which is over here, <coughs> although that does have a vent pipe right there, all the way, I don't know. I thought in the 20s they had indoor plumbing. Pretty sure they did. Lord only knows where this goes. It's like the never ending staircase. A garage. Yeah. Okay. So after you've come home from a long day at the office. Now think about this guys. This is 1926. They probably had it through the 30s. I'm assuming that's a driveway there's no stairs so you come in your driveway you pull your car pull your car into the garage and then you have to go down a hundred flipping stairs to get home and we complain about bringing groceries up four stairs really okay so now we are going to descend these steps which should be should be somewhat easier I mean, 
mean, this thing just whines and whines. Now, imagine, just imagine carrying groceries, okay? path go? I don't know if that's a path or just a retaining wall. One moment please. Possibly. That was the cellar? Storm cellar maybe? Yeah. So I'm thinking, yeah, this was probably their storm cellar. Because I guess it could have been another patio. But when you've got the patios up so high, I don't know why you'd have one over here. So. This is, looks like all new growth though. Yeah, this may not have been here in the 30s. Well, that's true. And it would would have been a beautiful, yeah, these are pretty small trees. It would have been a really nice view. Okay. Well, that, that was a find right there, folks. A castle in the middle of all these woods. Huh? Go down the other set. There's not another set. That's another castle. There's another set of stairs down that way but we can't get to it from here Why? we have to go did you hear it in his voice hmm. i'm pushing my luck but it's okay oh where do those stairs go to another castle there's two up here yes Are you kidding? No. Castle, castle, two castles. Castle, castle. So let's go to the other one. Okay. Well, it is much easier going down than it is coming up. Okay, more stairs. This does not look like it's the main because these stairs are even narrower than the last set. But again, a hundred stairs. Okay, I can do this. I got this, no problem. Okay, so I'm gonna have to hold on to the rail to get up these hundred stairs. Now this is a proper doorway. I have to be young again. Uncle G's already at the top. <laughs> yeah. See at the top, guys. Okay. So we made it to the top. Well, I made it to the top. Uncle G's been up here for a minute. Oh, I bet this was like a maybe a mother-in-law house. Again, it would have had really low ceilings. But a nice picture window. I bet this was for a mother-in-law. I could see that. That would make sense. Yeah. If the old lady could get upstairs. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe, you know, they were like me and they were trying to kill her. Yeah, that, that's a possibility. All right, so what we got in here? Uh, probably a kitchen, maybe? Have some sort of plumbing in there. Apparently, the mother-in-law got plumbing. And I don't, know if there's, I don't know if there's plumbing in there or not. That was something. I'm thinking this was the kitchen, though. 
I believe I just saw him run up the stairs. Oh yeah, they were sprinting. How are y'all doing today? Doing well, good. I had to stop halfway. <laughs> and I believe I just saw you run up the stairs. I think it's just one other building up there. Maybe that was her bathroom? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Kitchen, bedroom, that little room could have been a bedroom because there was a light in there. So it could have been a bedroom. Oh, a tiny bedroom. They were tiny people, Clearly. obviously. Yeah. The cool thing I is mean, you have to walk all the way back down. <laughs> going down is not near as hard. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Look at these steps. I know. You really think Poor they thought it's. I know, right? Those steps are not made for size 14 feet. <laughs> well, we're thinking this was the mother in law quarters. Uh -huh. So she would have had to be about my age. And in really flipping good up. shape. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely. I'm telling you, yeah. So we're gonna go head back down. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> these kids are funny. Okay, so here we go. I think they might be about to head down. You wanna let them go first? They they are more than welcome to go first. Yeah. Okay, so it was a wonderful birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed celebrating it with me. We got to see waterfalls and castles in the forest and caves, a little bit of everything. So, what do you think, Uncle G? I think it was a pretty good time. Good adventure. Thanks for sticking around with us and definitely check us out for the next one. See you next time, guys.